just can't do the cleaning anymore. Yes, this is new. I did get a new one for this video. I can't. Has anyone gone through this? When they've gone through this, like, creative, I'm going to say creative renaissance. It's hilarious, but I've gone through this creative rebirth. That sounds pretentious. But I used to be so, not fanatic, not fanatical. I was never fanatical, but, you know, like, really cared about cleaning my place. And like, I would wash these curtains in the, I was gonna say in the dishwasher laundry machine. I'm just gonna take these off one sec. I just had to wash my hands and the gloves. It's not happening. But is that, does any other creator or anyone else that's working in a creative job, they're just in this, zone like it's not like I'm being lazy it's not but I <laughs> I literally look at my bathtub and I clean only <laughs> certain parts of it like the place where my feet touch and not the sides because it's like this motivator like if I look at it and it pisses me off enough it means that my videos my youtube channel it's it's gonna grow because that's where my energy is <laughs> going not to cleaning where it used to go where I used to like waste so much time cleaning and I kind of feel like I did I kind of feel like I did I mean I care very much about my home and feeling at home in my home and making other people feel at home in my home I mean I always had people over and then you know clean three four hours before they come scour everything I really care about that but lately so and, and so it's not like I'm not cleaning because I'm unhappy because I'm depressed like I've never been happier but I just it's really fun and it's been like that it's been like that since I've been hardcore with my channel so for just over a year and a half I know this is my new channel but just over a year and a half and I just I look at him like no I can't it can't be too clean because that will lead to that will lead to not lethargy apathy like that will lead to taking me back mentally to this life where I worked nine to five I came home I made dinner I flopped on the couch and I had nothing going on in my brain ever I remember working in the with the client services job and I liked it like I liked it I liked talking to people I liked the kind of um soft sales sales job but I would come home and I I had nothing to talk about to my friends I had nothing to talk about to my boyfriend at the time now my husband I remember just like oh I made this call today and my brain was just dead and so I'm making this work in my brain like oh that's dirty you're gonna have to clean that or oh that's dirty it's gonna get so bad you're gonna have to move but in order to move your channel has to be at a certain place you have to be at a certain place financially I don't know it's just so funny I'm going on a rant. I'm going on a rant. I'm gonna switch gears. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Sometimes I like to sit in a random corner and just watch the people go by. No, I don't. It's a lie. I did when I was younger. I think I might start again just sitting on the, the curb. Watching the world go by. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me.
Oh, the weather is so beautiful. Yes, that's like a rot trap you see by me. I've been having dreams, at least the last two nights, about mice and rats. Last night, it was one fucking rat with red eyes. I like rats as pets, I just wanna say that, but not wild rats. And it means apparently that somebody a woman is about to betray you and I'm like yeah no shit I know who that would be but uh that, that's cool that's cool but it's beautiful out here I totally recommend it I'm getting allergy just sitting and enjoying the outdoors I actually was about to do it in the hallway and just sit on the stairs but I know especially in this neighborhood that would really freak people out I think so I'm not gonna do that. But uh, I um, I remember remember Kimmy from the office, Kimmy, and <laughs> she she pulled the sweater over her head or something when she went out with Michael Scott. This is my private place. This is my private place. This is what I did in the foster home. And I thought that was kind of disturbing, but. I totally do that. I totally do that at home because I mean now I live in a small space and so I'll go at the corner of my bed and there's like the nightstand there. So there's the nightstand on the floor and it's the corner so that's like my, my private working space if I want to get creative and I'll be on the floor or I'll just be sitting there. I'll just be sitting there trying to like meditate, cry, write in my journal, just doing nothing or, or I'll sit. I'll sit in the kitchen on my stool and I'll have my tea. I'll just sit there and like that's my, my private area. Like no one no one can see me there. <sighs> oh, okay. I'm gonna make turnip fries today. When I put it on Instagram last time, it was really liked. And for those of you that have been watching my channel, I started something it is two years ago now called the GAPS diet. To break it down, it's like meat broth, a lot of vegetables, fruits, and meats, meats and fish. So no carbs, no grains, but uh, vegetarian dinners I have. I have lentils. You can have three types of beans, like split peas, lima beans, and navy beans. I have a lot of those for dinners because we tend to have vegan dinners. But I've had to switch some things out for chicken, like not allowed to have tofu anymore. But I had to find, it took me almost two years, for fries and stuff. Because sometimes I just miss the fun foods. Like I love being creative, making my foods. So these are the turnip fries. I'm not doing a whole food vlog because I hate it. I can't figure out how people do the food vlog well without having a million cameras and constantly switching angles like I can't flip my brain that much so I'm going to show you how I cut one fry one turnip for the fries but then I'm just going to do the mix for you okay okay just one but then the whole mix it's happening it's happening this will have to do because I'm I'm getting angry. And then these are gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna cook them for dinner. We're gonna have salsa fries for dinner. So obviously, oh, bake these in the oven. I'm gonna use the toaster oven. You don't need oil in the pan. My husband taught me that. That's why you put oil in the turnip fries. And then I cook them in the toaster oven, make sure that they're not 
on top of each other. They're all on the pan and uh, 400, even 450. They take forever to cook. Like recipes say 25 minutes, never listen to recipes. They're always wrong. Recipes say 25 minutes. I cooked them for 50 last time. They will start to burn. So you do have to watch at some point, but you can cook them forever. And even once you've cooked them two 25 minute periods, they still don't all come out totally crunchy like fries. But if you have had to give up carbs, it's still like heaven when you eat them. So I'm gonna bake them for maybe 45 minutes and then just before serving, tear up. I have a cooked piece of cold chicken, cheese, shredded cheese. We have Tex-Mex cheese this week. I'm gonna bake that in the oven just to heat it up and um, gooey up the cheese. And then at dinner, we're gonna put some green onions on top, salsa, just whatever little fixins we may have, maybe some onion, maybe some red onion. It's so good, it's so good, I love it. In case you can't tell, I have a serious problem. I have this obsession with tea, but it's not, it is because of the tea, but it's not, it's just this obsession. I actually don't know what the obsession is. I don't think it's just the caffeine. That would be so insulting to the tea. Who messed up my AC unit? I love tea and since I switched from coffee to tea, money-wise, it has become a huge problem. As you can see, this is David's tea, which you have to get because they just have good tea, good loose leaf tea. I think that the tea that you find in the little packets in the store is a scam and I don't even know if it's real tea, but it tastes like dust. This is just like heaven. When I was younger, it was like six cups a day. That was a bad scene. This is David's tea, organic Japanese sencha. I have to cut it out again. It's way too expensive. It's just been so wonderful, especially with the being inside so much to have that little ritual every day. I love it. I love it. Do you want to see me eat eggplant? Let me know in the comments. I didn't think I liked eggplant. As someone who loves all food, I thought eggplant was disgusting. But then one day I made it and I baked it on, again, the toaster oven sheet. And I added lots of dried basil, lots of dried oregano, lots of olive oil, lots of olive oil. It sucks it up and it sticks. It needs lots of oil and apple cider vinegar and salt. And it is so good. Oh, and you have to bake it again. Something you have to bake for a long time, like 45 minutes to be properly caramelized, which means bring the sugars out, the crispiness. It is so good. Let me know if you want to see me cook that, bake that and I'll do it because it's it's relatively easy to, to do for a video. You just chop it up, and but I have some in the fridge already chopped up, and I'm going to put it, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to put it with tomatoes because we got local tomatoes at the grocery store, like a big bushel of them, so I have to use them up, and that's Italian ingredients. It'll be good. But I'm going to go eat now. Thank you so much for coming. I think my next... No, no, I'm doing something else that's cute. But after that, this week, I'm gonna cut my hair. So you have to come back and watch that video, even just for moral support. Okay, bye. <gasps> for those of you just coming here today, this is Cass Contents. Hello.
Thank you so much for coming. I will see you tomorrow.